My friends, it's Grabs here. I'm playing some Space Engineers. This is my first proper creation, and I call it Herbert, or Bert, Herbert sounds better. Herbert the Space Catapult. And it just says, or does, what it says on the tin. It's a freaking Space Catapult. <laughs> sounds a bit ridiculous, but the uh, mechanism inside of it is very very deadly. What it can fire is very, very deadly, as a catapult would in real life. Sometimes you might wonder to yourself, well, what's the point of a catapult when I've got Gatling guns and rockets and whatnot? That does a lot of damage. Well, I have to agree with you, gentlemen. It, and, and ladies. And ladies. Uh, that, uh, those do a lot of damage, but sometimes you might just need a siege weapon. What if you want to blow up a ship in half in one shot? Like, say, a ship like this size. What if you want to blow it up in half in one shot? Well, that's why Herbert the Space Catapult exists. So that you can bring a, a quick solution to your destruction needs. Alright, so this is Herbert. I made him uh, yesterday. Took me a number of hours to put together. Uh, I didn't intend for him to look like this, but eventually he actually did look like it. In fact, he's got a little bit of a face on the front. I was thinking to put another cockpit on the uh, other side. And maybe that would be quite cool. But let's take a look around Herbert. As you can see, he's got wheels. And these wheels actually do function when you're going along flat surfaces. So we're going to make a flat surface. And I'll show you guys what they're actually like. But as you can see, he's got all of his engines uh, all around the area. And he's also got some on the bottom side. Whoop, turned off my jetpack there. And let's go down below. And you guys are going to see that there are some jet engines. Jet engines? Why am I saying jet engines? rocket engines down below uh, and I think I need to actually put some more engines along here along the bottom side on this side uh, to fully complete it but I'll make sure I do that when I release this on the Steam Workshop and yes this will be on the Steam Workshop for you guys it will also be in the description box below linked if you guys want to get it but I'm gonna show you guys around it we're gonna fire it off we're gonna go along a flat surface and we're also going to remake one from scratch so you guys can learn how to make your own Herbert the Space Catapult. So we go along the underside here, there's some landing gear over there. So you can lock yourself to any surface and on the underside is a ladder. So we just climb on up into the main atrium compartment of the Space Catapult Herbert. And here is the firing mechanism, so as you can see, we go on up, that's the loader portion, and that's where you put the main, uh, your, your arm, your, well, explosives or whatever you want to fling. You can even fling spaceships, tiny spaceships from that. Uh, and then, mind you, this is a small, a relatively small Herbert. You could make a giant Herbert that could launch giant spaceships, <laughs> probably. And over here, we've got gyroscopes, there's a gravitational generator, we've also got... A nuclear reactor, ta-da, and this is connected to rotor 3 which operates the firing mechanism, the catapult itself. It's situated at 0 degrees on the lower limit and upper limit of 90 degrees so that when you need reloading it's going to be flat like this and when you fire it it's going to be at a right angle straight so that whatever you throw or uh, is, will hopefully go in a straight line. Not always but that's what you hope. Over here is the cockpit, so let's open up the door. And we'll go on into flying mode. And we'll fly this around a little bit. Right, so let's unlock the landing gear. And fly. Take off. This is Herbert. Herbert the Space Catapult. <laughs> and those are some uh, demo warheads that I've made. You guys can tool or fool around with those if you want. So there's Mr. Herbert. Hello, Herbert. Now let's go land it again. And we shall fire on this ship over here. Yes, this will be our our target. And let me make sure I'm landing this properly. I need to get the landing gear down. Now you can imagine if you're ever in a conflict, especially a space conflict, uh, where you don't have landing stuff like this, what you'll need essentially is 
probably multiplayer. You'll need uh, multiple people manning this thing to get some proper success from it. You'll need a pilot actually flying it around and orientating it in the right direction. And you also need a fire or a gunner. Uh, to actually load, to actually fire this thing, and maybe you could even have a loader as well to just uh, quicken the whole process. So essentially, like a three-man team, if anything, maybe even four if you want, like a repairs man or something like that, emergency repairs. Uh, but to be fair, there's actually something else you can do with this thing. If you don't want to just rotate the entire body of the of Herbert, what you can actually do is set up another rotor so that it rotates on its axes and so you can just rotate this entire thing by itself and maybe I'll show you guys that when we're remaking the spaceship but all right let's get inside the uh, actually go into the firing mechanism itself we'll try off with a small warhead first I think that one's a bit spun out right now so I don't think we'll be able to use that so let's go and copy this thing like that like so are we facing towards it yes we are and all we do is we just put the little charge inside. And what we have to hope is that it doesn't explode inside the catapult. Because sometimes, depending on how fast you get the the torque and how, or how much torque you have and how much you put the velocity to, I think the, the actual charge <laughs> spins out and it ends up exploding inside the catapult. So that's the last thing that we want to happen. So let's set this to about maybe a velocity of 10, just for demonstrational pur purposes, and maybe a torque of like that, and let's go. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And off it goes onto the ship. Hopefully it lands properly. Yeah, there we go. Nice. That was a good uh, first test run. So that was small warheads. It doesn't look like a lot of damage, and admittedly, it isn't a lot of damage. But uh, that's that's only small warheads. Now, be on the more destructive mindset. We need large warheads. So we need to rotate this backwards. So we're going to set the velocity to negative. And so it goes back down into place. Like so. Okay. And now, we're going to try to make uh, a large warhead. Mind you, I'm hoping that this works. I'm not sure if it will. Because I've actually had a little bit of difficulties doing this yesterday. You'll have to experiment. I mean, the, the main purpose of what I did yesterday was to make this catapult. And I didn't test a whole lot around with actually, you know, making the actual uh, explosive charges. But they will be included in the Steam Workshop of this. Uh, but the... When I was ex experimenting with the large warheads, what ended up happening a lot of times was it was exploding inside inside the uh, catapult so you need to make sure you make very protective i guess uh, uh designs for your explosive charges and you, that's a that's a whole another subject actually right there making the most efficient design for an explosive uh for explosive charges so i'm gonna make one like this because if I, when i made one yesterday that had one block down and then the warhead it ended up exploding a lot so i don't want that to happen especially when we're I'm trying to show you guys how this thing is working. It's like trying to sell your product to a supermarket and then it just ends up exploding or something. Or like on one of those home shopping networks. Alright, so let's give this a go. We won't make it too f fast. And I'm hoping it doesn't fly over the ship as well, because that's actually happened a few times as well. So let's set it to positive, and we'll just set it to around the same sort of thing. Alright, here we go. Oh, and there it goes. Mind you, this is a slow velocity. I think that's actually going to fly over. Yeah, that's going to fly over. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that didn't work out too well. Okay, so test two. We're increasing the angle slightly, so hopefully it doesn't go flying off. Hopefully th hopefully this works. Ah! Oh! God damn it! <laughs> and that's what sometimes happens. You need to really work out the uh, kinks. The kinks with the <laughs> when 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 making these uh, war warheads, the larger ones. Hey, okay, test fire number three. We've got a slightly different design. Come on! Oh, it's going! Oh, uh, uh, very sharp angle! Oh my God! There we go! You just seen that? <laughs> so you'd have to work out the angles uh, with the catapult 
better uh, and also, you know, perfect the velocity and whatnot. And I guess that could be the role of the gunner. But as you can see, that was the devastation of one large warhead. All right. And mind you, that was just in front of the ship. So that must have struck, uh, strike like right around here. And that's the kind of devastation it made. So if you can imagine if it was a direct hit right in the middle of the spaceship, that would have just torn it in half. This thing wouldn't even be flying properly anymore. Thanks to the uh, Herbert the Space Catapult right there. And the great thing is, is that you can actually use this mid-flight, so if you had the pilot who is piloting this properly uh, around the, one of these giant spaceships, and then your gunner just launched this perfect angle, whatever, and timed it right to compensate for the trajectories of the ships if they're moving, yeah, that could have been a devastating blow. And that is the effectiveness of uh, large warheads. So, I think that shows you guys the uh, damage potential. The last thing I want to show you guys is the the rolling potential of of this thing. And I, and I think it's just the secondary feature if anything. It's not like, you know, the main feature of this of Herbert the Space catapult. It's more so just uh I don't know because you know catapults have wheels on them and it only makes sense for a catapult including a space catapult, to have wheels on it. So, we're going to... Oh shit, we went a bit too far. We're going to build a catwalk, just like that. And now we're going to fly back the way to Herbert, and we're going to just test out his wheels. So you guys can get a feeling of what his wheels are like. Uh, and it's only just a little bit of fun. If anything, it's just aesthetics to make him look like a catapult. But uh, what happens is because because of how the game works, when you have surfaces contacting each other, especially at higher frictions and whatnot, then they end up breaking apart, and that's actually exactly what happens with the wheels. So let's reverse this back down into position. Our catapult, and down it goes. It can slam down, doesn't matter, it's not going to break. <laughs> okay, and we go into the cockpit. All right, so let's take off. We're ready. Ooh, gotta be careful of that warhead right there. That small little tiny one. Don't wanna end up crashing into it and blowing off one of our wheels. And so this is gonna be where we test out our catwalk features. Herbert, the space catapult, is going to do a little bit of modeling for you guys on the catwalk. As you can see, oh yeah, come on you sexy thing, let's get on down. I, th I think it needs a little bit more engines and maybe you guys can add these in where you like. I just added two on the top side because I wanted it to have uh, to sort of sink in with the rest of the frame. But I think you guys can actually mix them in. Uh, how you see fit. Alright, so here we go. Herbert, the space catapult. Right there. And let's lock that. Okay, so this is going to be our catwalk. And actually, I think we might need to get a little bit lower. So if we keep on pushing down, come on, Herbert. Get those wheels contacting. As you can see, the wheels are contacted. And now we're just going to propel ourselves forward. And so the wheels should roll. Here we go. Yeah. Herbert. Go, Herbie. <laughs> Look at that. The wheels roll. They don't really suit much of a function, to be honest with you. But I think they're kind of nice because they sort of absorb an impact. So if you're on a rough surface or whatever, I guess you'll have to replace the wheels after whatever you've done. But at least, like, you know, it's just the ship can sort of go on by whatever surface and those wheels will take the damage if anything uh, rather than the main part of the ship so thank you Herbert for that nice show our gravitational generator seems to be flying off for some reason so we'll have to uh, figure that <laughs> why why is it done that actually I'm, I'm curious let's, let's quickly check out 
the the gravitational generator was just over here just down there and it appears it doesn't want to be part of the ship anymore so I guess we're just not good enough as you could say all right right fair enough we'll have to place it elsewhere I guess maybe there's some sort of weakness in there but anyway guys I think that actually uh, this is quite a long showcase so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a separate video for the remaking of Herbert and how you can make Herbert so anyway guys thank you for watching and until that this is Grebzy and I will see you guys then